everyone. I'm Rez. This is Teddy. And uh, I have something to read. I don't even know how to start this and I can't believe I'm even reading this because it's so surreal. Um, fuck. Uh, this video will probably be very choppy because I will need to edit out various moments of me inevitably breaking down. I am an emotional person. This is hitting. This is hitting very hard. God, I'm not even three sentences in. Oh man, God, it was, it was difficult to even write this ahead of time, but the aim of this is to share an update on how I'm doing, mainly since people have asked, which I do appreciate. Uh, it's also to give some background and provide any additional clarity I am able to give on the situation and uh, most importantly, thank one of the greatest members of our community. So if you don't want to hear about something personal or if you don't want to see me trying to avoid crying a bunch, feel free to skip right to the radio polls timestamped below. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Jin Lee, an amazing DFF oil content creator and friend, um, posted an update to his YouTube community tab a few nights ago out of the blue, essentially detailing that life has taken a turn and starting now he will be withdrawing completely from you know youtube twitch discord and the community as a whole you can go to his page for the full message i'll link in the description box from our collabs most of you know that jen and i are close but i don't i don't think anyone knows nearly the full extent i don't know if there's anything i can share that could probably that could like properly explain our friendship but i will i will do my best while still being respectful of jen's very private nature so jen has become one of my closest friends and vice versa and i am including irl friends in this category as well our friendship started right before covid hit in the states when any and all friendships around the globe were already forced to go online so it honestly didn't feel any different from how I was communicating uh, with my IRL friends. In fact, we spoke way more than I ever did with any of them. We grew together in this community at the same time, and funnily enough, we essentially met because he was surprised that I celebrate Lunar New Year. Um, we had spoken every single day since February of 2020, and I mean that very, very literally. Um, up until now, there has never been a 24 plus hour time period where we have not had some sort of message exchange. Um, out of curiosity, I actually checked Discord to see just how many messages had been exchanged between us since February 2020 and now. And it was, it was upwards of 350,000 messages, um, average, which averages out to about 450 messages per day, every day, for over two years. So that is certainly one quantifiable way I am feeling Jin's absence. And these don't even take into account any of the collabs we did or Fireside. Um, but yeah, I've already missed out on almost a thousand would-be messages from him. So yeah, when I say we talked a lot, I mean it. Usually we would talk for hours. Our conversations were about anything and everything, and they were almost rarely DFFO related. We'd talk about life and philosophies and families and relationships and pasts and futures and everything under the sun. We helped each other through some very tough times. He in particular supported me through some of my darkest moments. He gave the best advice though, regardless of the topic. We played through so many different games and watched so many different shows together. We always said to each other that even though we never met in real life, it would legitimately feel weird if we had gone a day without communicating. We also always talked about an eventual meetup and joked that it would be when he would finally do his face reveal for the community. He actually is a very good looking dude and looks extremely similar to the avatar in his intro that Vivi Noir drew of him, but he was very amused by the idea that people associated him with the image of a fat, bald monk. Also, just to set the record straight, it should also go without saying that all of this has only ever been platonic. I know in the early days and even 
you know, still now um, of us becoming close, there was a lot of speculation around whether there was something more to our friendship. Um, we obviously knew we were just close friends, so we personally got a, a, got a kick out of the continued evidence that a straight guy and girl cannot be close friends without people assuming something more is going on, even online. Jen was actually the first person in the community to learn I have a longtime boyfriend, Halcyon, and he knew this very, very early on, and he has never been anything but supportive of us, and Halcyon has always recognized how good a person and friend Jen is. Obviously, there's so much more that I cannot put into words, and certainly not into a video, but hopefully it provides at least some context on how close our friendship was, which will help to explain this next part. So some of you may have already seen my announcement on Discord, but for those who didn't, and for those who have been wondering how I've been doing. I'm not doing great. I'm not doing great. I am absolutely heartbroken. I just, I'm, I'm gutted. It, it just, it already feels so weird that he and I haven't talked. I'm still sending him tons of, dis, of, of Discord messages in our chat as if he were still there, even though I know the chance of him ever seeing them is extremely slim and he may never be able to even respond. <sighs> Sorry. My parents came over to pick up something the day after it happened and I completely broke down. I cried so hard that I got a massive bloody nose. I ended up bleeding all over my dad's sweatshirt and my robe and the carpet and my slippers, bless Halcyon, for getting all of the blood out in time. But I haven't been able to sleep before 6 a.m. the last four nights. The night that it happened, I was up until 7.30 in the morning just reading through some of our very first conversations and watching the countless collabs that we did and just like silently crying on the couch with Teddy. Uh, it was really tough watching the video that we made less than a month ago for our plans up to Force Era, knowing that it would only remain true for, for one of us. He's been such a huge part of my own DFFO content creation journey that part of me is wondering if I even want to continue making videos and stream. At this point, for most people, like we are synonymous with each other's channels. I don't want to make any rash decisions because I love this game and this community, and I'm sure some people are going to say it would be irrational for me to stop making content because of this, but it legitimately feels empty <laughs> right now. Uh, it was such a small thing, but whenever we did our pulls separately, we had this inside joke where we would always try to psych each other out, like pretend we had awful pulls and we had great pulls and vice versa. And it became almost like a contest to see how elaborate we could be with our stories while still telling the truth. And I'm already so sad we won't be able to do this for our radio pulls. Like we were both so excited for Zach Burst. I haven't pulled a verse since Machina, so we were both hoping I'd be able to snag it easily here. But if I do happen to get it tonight, and I, I really hope I do, I just know that I'm gonna be incredibly emotional because I won't I won't be able to share my polls with them like we like we did for the last two years. I was tearing up just writing this and obviously tearing up for reading it. Uh, just thinking about, you know, the cute fun music he always put at the end of our poll battles. Uh, Price of Freedom, especially Jeff Plays Guitar's Arrangement, will forever be associated with his video intros, and I don't know if or when I'll ever be able to listen to it again without feeling sad. I don't know if I could ever have the same energy in Fireside Chat. I am... I am absolutely dreading... I am dreading eventually seeing his DFFO friend card say, last online 345 days ago, but to him if I won't still check it every single fucking day on the minuscule chance that he might be able to sign in. Every time, sorry, fuck. Every time I get a Discord notification, my heart jumps thinking that it might be him, hoping that this might all just be a bad joke. April 1st is coming up. It, 
you know, the possibility of it being a bad dream ended on Friday morning. All of this is just so surreal in the worst, in the worst way. There are many more things that I could say about my friendship with Jin and just so many other ways in which he was an amazing human that I would love to share with you all, but he was and is a very private person, so I will not share them out of respect for him. And I'm sure some of you by now are like, okay, we get it, you were close friends, but I truly cannot properly convey how good a person he is, how close we were, and how big an impact he has made on my life, both in this community and personally. So he wrote me a separate letter and sent it right before signing out of everything. And I so appreciate that he took the time to do that and that he took the time to let the community know as well, because it seems like this entire thing happened in a matter of hours. Um, you know, regarding the circumstances of his departure, the letter did not say much. Um, but I've seen a lot of speculation out there, so I wanted to share what I can definitively say, which is the following. For starters, he has not left to go work for Square Enix. I have seen this suggested in a few different places, so I just wanted to set the record straight there. Um, next, this happened very suddenly for him. He had just posted Fireside Chat a few hours earlier. He was extremely excited for upcoming DFFO content. He and I had just been talking a couple hours earlier. So as far as I know, he was not expecting this. Third, he has had to cut contact across the board. Uh, I have no way of getting in touch with him. And so there are no messages that I can pass along. He has literally had to withdraw from everything. I also do not have the full details on what happened or why. He said he will be okay and not to worry and apologized for how abruptly he had to leave things with everyone and that it had nothing to do with the community or the game. I think if anything at all, him having to leave right before Zach burst is evidence of this. And then lastly, as much as I'd like for this to not be the case, he is almost certainly never coming back. I cannot imagine what he must be feeling and going through right now, and I can only hope that he and his loved ones are safe and, you know, remain okay. And I'm not saying any of this to be bleak. I'm trying to be optimistic, but realistic. I'm, I'm saying this because I don't know if people understand the gravity and finality of the situation, and I don't want it to be taken for granted. Jin Lee has helped so many in the DFFO community in different ways, and I think we can all agree that he is objectively one of the best players in the game. He always made sure to post runs that would make it easier for folks with a smaller roster to beat Mufenia Plus content. I mean, even before C90 era, he would always strive to do no burst, no synergy runs. Um, his how to play videos back in the day were so helpful for complicated character kits, starting with the iconic Strip Roth video. He made so many people laugh with his amazing meme poll videos and brightened their days, and his rants were the stuff of legends. His pull battles with me and with others always had the most incredible over-the-top trailers. He was the best mod and always made people feel welcome in our Discord and always handled disagreements with people respectfully. I call it our Discord server out of habit because he was the one who encouraged me to make one and offered to be a mod on the spot. He helped out so many people personally with different things like team comps, sphere recommendations, even video editing. When I convinced him to jump on the Tales of Crestoria bandwagon, RIP, he quickly became a go-to strategy guy there too. I've always loved seeing comments on his videos or in our Discord server from people saying that they hit a resource milestone because of him. I certainly never would have been able to join the Millionaire's Club without him. He was amazing at sharing knowledge in a concise and humble way and never made anyone feel like they were less than. In mentioning how much Jin's act absence is already affecting me, I'm sure some of you might think I am overreacting. And maybe I am. Maybe it's weird to sob over someone I've never met in real life, no matter how close we were. Maybe maybe it's pathetic that, that I broke down when I officially saw he hadn't logged into DFFO in two days. But I don't care. I don't care. Because the bottom line is I fucking miss my friend. And even if I can never speak to him again, fuck. I just want to know that he is and will remain safe and okay. <sighs> God. And I think it's a testament to his character that 
Even those who on whose only interactions with him were watching his videos from years ago are still feeling the loss. I've read every single comment on his community post and in the Reddit thread and in all the Discord servers I'm in. And the support and admiration for him is incredible and so well-deserved. So if you feel like adding any more, feel free to do so in the comments of this video. So even though it was only for a few years, the community is so lucky to have had him along with his expertise and amazing sense of humor. So to everyone who is feeling this loss in some way, whether you were close and spoke with him often, or you had your day brightened by the occasional meme poll video, let yourselves grieve. He was a pillar in this community and has left an impact on so many people. And to those who think it's weird that this is hitting some of us really hard, please let us process and feel our feelings. Uh, almost everyone in the community has been extremely, extremely supportive though, and I cannot thank you enough. I was planning on listing out everything I wanted to thank Jin for, but honestly, just writing them out earlier made me start crying. So there's no way I would have been able to read them out loud. So even though I know he won't be able to watch this video, I will just say this. Jin, <laughs> I miss you. I miss you a lot. I still haven't gone a day without crying about this. I selfishly want you to please come back, even though I, not, even though I know that's not possible right now. I'll even lose every ball battle that we do in the future. I really, really hope that you're able to return someday, but please know, know that no matter how long it takes, we will be waiting with open arms. But even if you don't, even if you can't come back, whatever the circumstances, I hope that you are safe and happy and know that we all care about and support you. Truly, thank you. Thank you for everything. I will be attempting to write you a separate super long note in the next few days, so hopefully you'll be able to read it someday down the line. I was trying to think of a proper segue because this is heavy stuff and I want the radio polls to be fun because we're so excited. So Jin's legacy will live on in many different ways in DFFO, not the least of which is RN Jin. So let's hope that it's kind tonight with Rydia LD and Zach Burst. So if anyone else is drinking something while watching this, please join me in raising a glass or a white claw to Jin Lee. Cheers. I need a minute to pull myself back together, but we'll be right back with uh, Rydia Pulse. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Okay, we are back. Uh, to whoever watched that entire tribute, I guess you could call it, uh, thank you. Um, and to those who are just skipping ahead, uh, I apologize in advance if I get emotional, if I get emotional about this. So um, yeah, uh, I've loaded everything. Um, we can do this one first. Uh, I would love to get a free Ramza burst because then I can save 50 burst tokens. <laughs> Uh, cause I have used, I had to token Garnet and Lock in a matter of like two weeks or something. Um, and I was really hoping to at least be able to pull one of Zach or Ramza, but we will, we will just have to see. Um, God, I can't remember what I was gonna, what I was gonna say. Sorry, I, I'm just, oh man, I'm a mess. Okay, looks like we're not getting free Ramza. It's fine, it's a very small chance anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, the servers are real bad. Um, all right. So I obviously hope we don't have to pity, but I am totally okay with Iridia pity. Um, as long as it gets me Zach burst. I have not pulled a burst since uh, Machina, um, which was almost three months ago. So I would love for that curse to be broken, for that curse to be broken here. And if we don't get Rydia LD here, we will be going straight into gems. Uh, since I had used 620 tickets on Cyan. Um, and I've been holding on to my tickets since then, and I'm 
you know, I'll be back at Cap with Divine Leviathan, but I really want a good chance at, uh, at Zach first. So, all right, we're not going to get it there. Let me do free right here. Come on. Oh, man. Servers are really slow. This would be a great time for my first free daily burst. But that is not going to happen. All right. Let's jump in. I've preloaded everything. So, Zach Burst, let's go. Wow, servers are really slow. I mean, Zach is, Zach is hype, so. Let me pull it in Jin's, in Jin's honor since he won't be pulling. Yeah, lots of lots of blue orbs. It'd be a great time for a blue orb burst. Oof. Right, I'll do one more multi, and then we will reset our engine. Okay, gold orb. Sack first. <laughs> And yet, so far, all right, let's go reset our engine. I think I might need to use FF4 music for this instead of um, instead of Price of Freedom, since it'll be a while before I can listen to it without being sad, since it's all of Jin's intros. Oof. These are not going great. But come on, Zach Burst, please. <laughs> oh man.
Damn, what's with all these blue orbs? Orangin, why aren't you working? <laughs> oh man, okay, we will reset again. Come on, don't make me pity the LD with no burst. Burst, burst, burst. <laughs> Please. Nope. I said burst orb, not blue orb. <laughs> Burst orb, burst orb. Been so many pulls since I got a burst. Oh my God, another blue orb. Come on, blue orb clutch. Turn, turn into a burst, please. Three more multis to go. Come on, Zach, burst. Let's reset RNG one more time. We'll go in the other direction. Oops. There we go. Okay. Come on. Sack burst, please. Oh my god, another blue one. Jeez. Burst pity. That is a no burst pity right there. The game did not take pity on me, but I mean, it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know what I'm gonna do because 
I really don't have, I don't have that many, like I could token both Ramza and then Zach after his cycle is done, but I wouldn't have enough burst tokens to token another burst for a while. Um, so I don't know if I should just take this and keep going at the end of the cycle and like not get not pick up Rydia LD quite yet. Like this is what I was, this is what I was dreading because I don't know if I should wait at this point. It's like, it's like, what do I, what do I value more? You know, 50, 50 verse tokens or 50K or 50K more gems at this point. So normally this is something that I would ask Jin advice on, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was so excited for, I was so excited for Rydia um, and, and Zach Burst. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to see, but I guess for now I can just token, I can just token Ramza, so. Uh, yeah, kind of anti, kind of anticlimactic, but yeah, I hope, I hope you're certainly luckier than I was, um, but, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you watched through that initial like 20 minute long um, tribute, uh, thank you. And feel free to leave, you know, any comments and anything that you want to share about about Jim and how awesome he, uh, I don't want to say was, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, okay. Anyway, this video is already way too long. So Thanks so much for watching. Thank you everybody who has checked in on me. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.